My name is Dr. David Brust and I've been a practicing exotic veterinarian for the last 25 years. I'm the author of Sugar Gliders, a complete veterinary care guide, and I'm also president of the Association of Sugar Glider Veterinarians. The purpose of this video series is to cut through all the internet misinformation out there and teach owners like you the best veterinary approved ways to raise and care for sugar gliders. Now, just to make sure we're all on the same page here, sugar gliders are also commonly known as sugar bears and also as honey gliders. And with that in mind, in an earlier video we showed you the best way to pick up your baby when it's sleeping. The purpose of this video is to show you the best technique for picking up a sugar glider that is already awake and running around in its cage, especially when it hasn't bonded to you yet. First off, the technique I'm about to show you works great both on baby sugar gliders and fully grown adults which have never bonded with anyone. In my practice as a vet, I deal with all kinds of gliders and this by far is the best way to pick up even the most stubborn and aggressive animals without hurting either them or myself. Okay, in this cage I've got one of my personal pets, Tinkerbell. She's just a big mommy that loves everybody and she is a very normal example of a sugar glider that has been properly trained. As you can see, once your sugar glider has bonded to you, picking them up out of the cage is a no-brainer. In fact, most of the time, they can't wait to come out, hang with you, and play. Give me a tink. Come on, sweetie. Oh, goodness. Okay. Come on. Let's go in pocket. There we go. Now, in this cage are a couple of babies that have never been held by humans except to put them in this cage. With babies like this, when you go to pick one up, there are a couple simple things to remember. The first is they're really fast, so you have to keep your hand ahead of the animal or they'll just keep wiggling away from you. The second thing is that you should try and capture them and get them into your hands as quickly as possible to minimize stress. This can be a pretty tricky task for new owners, so that's why we don't recommend you try this in the early stages of bonding. Instead, until you have started to get used to each other, it's much better just to pick them up when they're sleeping like we showed you in the previous video. That being said, if you're going to pick up an unbonded baby or an adult while it's running around in its cage, here's the best way to do it. First, when you originally got your baby glider, you should have also gotten a fleece bonding pouch that looks something like this. The best bonding, bonding pouches have a mesh window like this and a quality zipper so the baby can escape. Basically, all you're going to do is turn the pouch inside out like this and use it like a big mitten. Now, keeping your hand ahead of where the glider's moving, flatten your hand out and firmly pin the animal up against the cage. Like I said, these guys can be pretty slippery at first, so you have to press down fairly firmly so they won't wiggle out and escape. So reach in, Catch it. Okay. Once the baby is still, slide your fingers around their body, keeping your index finger above its head so it can't scoot away. Now holding the animal firmly, gently pull its body away from the cage until only it's holding on with its hands. At this point, if you pause for just a few seconds, it will usually let go of the bars. If not, you can gently release them using your other finger. Okay. Once you have the baby out of the cage, then you can either transfer it into your other hand, as we showed you in the other videos, or you can simply fold the pouch right side out, holding on to it so he doesn't come flying out, zip it closed, and we're done. But remember, it's always important to put a slice of freshly cut apple in with them if they're going to be in here for any length of time so they have liquid nourishment and don't get dehydrated. Now, again, this technique takes some practice to get good at it, but you can do it with the pouch or without. Here I'll do it a couple more times for you now with my bare hands just so you can see it better. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to do it with my bare hands. What you want to do is you have to be really fast, get in front of them, and pin them down pretty firmly because they'll squirm right through your hands if you don't. So basically reach in, flatten them down as quick as you can, Basically turn them around, 
So you got your head facing forward, slide your thumb under their jaw and your index finger on top and using your other fingers work their feet off the bars. Now that you've got them out, you can slowly take them out and as we showed you before, you can slide them from hand to hand very easily. Put them in the pouch, your pocket, wherever you need to go. So same technique if they're up on top, pin them, slide your thumb under their jaw, index finger on top, work their fingers loose, slide them out, and you can switch them, keeping your thumb under the chin and your index finger on top, and you can move them back and forth just like this so you're ready to go. Okay, one more time. Come here. Come here. Pin them down. You have to stay in front of them or else they'll slide right through you. Thumb under, index finger on top, and you can take them out. And as I said, you can pass them from hand to hand or you can put them in the pouch and you're ready to go. Like I said, once you've started to bond with your baby, you'll be able to just pick them up whenever you want and play with them. We'll be covering a lot more about the bonding process on other videos, so for now, the most important thing is to be patient and remember that bonding is a process, not an event. It's just going to take a little bit of time.